Welcome back to the Jesse's Performance Channel. This week we are about a month out from the LS Fest event in Las Vegas and we are planning on taking three cars. We are taking the IROC, the GT86, and the Trans Am. The IROC is ready to go. It's sitting at home, ready to load on the trailer, head out to Vegas. The GT86 is under construction. We've run into a couple of issues, but it's nothing that we can't handle. And the Trans Am, well, the engine's out of it, again, for like the five billionth time. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. Keep watching to find out more details. Here we go. On trying to test fit the 480 in the Chris's car, we haven't put the tranny in yet. Uh, we realized that the transmission tunnel is not nearly big enough. Um, our solution here at Jesse's Performance is uh, cut it out and build a new one. All right, so right now what we're doing is we're cleaning up and we're actually tack welding and spot welding all the inside of the new tunnel that we just put in. Um, we have a few more pieces to box in for the original frame. And after that, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna have a transmission support and we're gonna have it actually plated and bolted to his, uh, to these pieces right here, which are like actually supporting the car. Uh, frame rails? The frame rails, correct. Uh, the transmission did not fit, so we had to end up doing a bunch more work just in order to get to fit in here. So it's after a big that, old it's 480, so it should put up with this massive, massive amount of horsepower that this motor is going to be producing. So hopefully here by the end of the day, we'll have the transmission in there and we'll be good to go. Cool. Dun, dun, dun. We're going live. Well, it's recording. Okay. That's what you mean by live. All right. Well, close enough, right? <laughs> close enough. Uh, well, welcome back, everybody. No. You want that? No. No. Oh well, don't welcome back, everybody. I guess. <laughs> um, all right. So today, little update on the '86. Uh, me and the boys have been steamrolling on it. Um, I think the last time we talked about it, we were cutting the transmission tunnel out because the 4L80 did not fit. Well, we have a modified transmission tunnel now. We still need a little bit of, we're gonna do a little bit of cleanup work and uh, get the get the bottom side finished up uh, before we actually install the transmission, but uh, it fits. We have a, we have a dummy mock-up transmission and, and it fits, so we're gonna be in the clear there. Also, um, we realized that we have to um, lower the subframe half an inch in order to clear the oil pan. Um, the kit didn't come with uh, subframe spacers or bolts or anything, so we had to make our own. Um, so we're waiting on the bolts to get here to drop the subframe to get everything completely mounted up for the final time. So last night, uh, I stayed really late and I finished. Did you consider it late or early? I stayed, yeah, yes. You stayed really early this morning. Yes, really early this morning. I got a, yeah. Then I took a, a sleep break in between there, I guess. <laughs> is that how you, is that what you would consider it? Yeah, I got the, uh, I got the roll cage finished up on the 86. A lot of welding. Um, I'm really sore today because 
you just gotta like crawl around in these things when you do them and it's it's really hard like i'm not a yoga guy so therefore like having one foot behind my head and my arm behind my neck and it makes things hard come to yoga with me no i think it'd be a lot easier if i got like a finger control for the uh, tig welder oh. they got like hand control that would be easier um because then i just i wouldn't have to worry about having my legs where the pedal was at or whatever but um no i'm super excited because that is like the last big hurdle on this car was the transmission tunnel and the roll cage and we got them both done this week which means we are ready to paint the interior of this sucker um which is which is gonna suck too i lied that uh the body color the pearl white oh. yeah um the owner has changed his mind about four different times now with the help of me of course <laughs> but he's pretty set on the factory pearl white um that's gonna suck to shoot because it's a tri-stage and um we got like i mean sometimes when you're painting roll cages and you're painting interiors of cars you kind of just like shoot and let the overspray cover what you're covering because you can't get in there but you can't really do that with uh pearl paint so um or else you'll just have a big yellow spot so i don't know how we're gonna do that i think we're just gonna paint it all white like that and then pearl where we can and then what we don't get we don't get unfortunately it's just part of the game nothing to see here people just changing the oil on my trans am uh just kidding um kyle fucking get to work fuck off all right uh yesterday we drained the oil on my trans am motor and we found way too much glitter in it like this thing looked like metallic paint you would see on a lowrider it was terrible and there was so I immediately cut the oil filter apart and I found nothing, nothing there. Like there's no big chunks or nothing. So um, obviously as the internet knows, I've had a lot of, lot, a lot of issues with this motor between camshafts and lifters and cylinder heads, push rods, pump up issues. Remember the oil, it wouldn't build oil pressure because the lifters were bleeding off the oil pressure to the top end. Um, so just for peace of mind, I took the motor out um, I'm gonna take it to our good buddy over at Oaks Performance, Gary Oaks. He's gonna help me tear this thing apart and figure out where the noise is coming from, where the metal's coming from, and what we need to do to fix it. I'm really looking forward to getting it over to him, getting it apart, and just getting a clean bill of health from a professional, badass engine builder on this particular engine. Because this was a uh, really badass engine before I went switched to hydraulic roller. When this thing was in the Transmero, it made all kinds of power, never missed a beat, like it was solid. And then me being a, a car guy and a dumbass, I tore it apart to uh, make it more streetable and less maintenance and it's been nothing but a goddamn nightmare. Um, so I think it's a curse with this car. I haven't actually just done an oil change in 20 years. Every time I've done it, I've changed the engine. Like I haven't even, and sometimes I haven't even made it that far before we change the engine. So also I got some upgrades in mind um, while we have it apart because it'd be dumb not to, right? So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Um, I'll get you guys an update. All I know is this is one saucy motor as it is. So to get it any better and to make it quieter, I'm, I'm all game for it. All right, y'all, that's it for this week. Make sure you tune in every Sunday night at 8.30 p.m. Central Time to our channel so you catch our latest videos. Click here to subscribe, and thanks for watching. Ah!